Welcome to my face. I'm James St. James, and this is Transformation. I have with us the gorgeous Miss Pamela Brown. Darling. Mwah. It's so nice to see you. Good to see you. I have wanted to have you on the show forever and ever and ever, but you are a busy girl. Moving and grooving. You're moving and grooving. Moving with the grooving. Rocking and a rolling, stepping huh? and a soling. Because we just posted um, I Stay Connected, the video, and I think it's my favorite one that you've ever done. Oh, well, thank you, James. I think it's really fun. And I've been making short films, which you put on periodically uh -huh. on the YouTube channel. It's Tammy Brown. Subscribe. Wow presents. <laughs> Have you always been creative? Since I was a youngster, I was creative always. In Corpus Christi. Well, no. I, I've lived in the, the valley in Texas that's down by Matamoros, Mexico. Matamoros, Mexico, you know, okay. Where they killed that white guy and they found his head in a cauldron. I don't know anything about this. In a cauldron, like a yeah. witch's cauldron? Correct, it was a cult. I wanted to be a witch for Halloween. Uh huh. And then when I had to go live with my aunt and uncle because we had some family problems, that they forced me to be a robot for Halloween, but that whole Halloween I told them I was a witch. <laughs> you were a witchy robot. That's correct. Or a witch who was in the form of a robot. Correct. Where do you find that the biggest Tammy Brown fans are? I have a lot here in the United States. I have a, a ton of them in Brazil. And then I want to say the UK. The UK, and we went to Ireland. Well, they have really great castles there, don't they? And really mm -hmm. great, like, like cathedrals. And yes. I'm, I'm a fool for all of that. I just, I, I know that in a past life I was a really? duchess in the, you know, medieval times. I bet you were with the way you dress. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> what are we going to be doing today? What are we going to be doing? We're going to be transforming your face. And you said that you like the Tammy Brown eyebrows. I do like the Tammy Brown eyebrows. And then we'll do maybe the Tammy Brown lips, the classic sort of Hollywood lip. Um, well, uh, let's. I'm going to go change into my smock and let's get started. But um, as we do that, we can talk a little bit about influences and where the look comes from and where what goes on inside that head of yours. Sounds groovy. Okay, yay, yeah, look up. What is the first step to becoming Tammy Brown? The first step is foundation. I always do foundation mm -hmm. first and not, huh? I want to say it's a little odd because you brought your own stool here. Correct. Well, I've studied many a times makeup and mm -hmm. how to do makeup. And first of all, you need to make sure the client is level with you that you're not bending over hurting your back. You know what I mean? Oh, I thought it was like a psychological thing. Like you have to be on, like you don't want to be bending down to like service someone. Oh no, I don't worry about that too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> you mind if I touch the client? No, no, I'm okay. fine, I'm fine. Just want to make sure touch, touch the baby. client. Yeah. Also, do you, would you like a breath mint? Do, oh no! <laughs> It's always important to offer the clients a breath. Wait, is that, are you trying to tell me something? But you can always start by giving yourself one first, and then give your clients one, so not to hurt I, their feelings. You as we did, did, you hurt my feelings already. Oh my God. There's no like space that you're invading or. Awesome. It's gonna be the right. In fact, space. people often claim that I'm the one that's doing this, the invasion of that I'm always up in people's faces and it mm -hmm. makes them uncomfortable. I just use this little wet and wild little pan stick that I've been finding. Right. And they're really inexpensive. They're $1.99 and they're real easy. Mm -hmm. and they're easy run if you're running out of your makeup, which I like to use Ban Eye, so I'm using Ban Eye. I put so much foundation on my face. Mm -hmm. I consider it Marsupon, like the cake. <laughs> <laughs> if you like Marsupon face, come and give me the kisses. And I find a lot of people do like this kind of makeup stuff and a lot of gay men too. You know, they're like, oh yeah, baby, I wanna kiss your tootsie. Yeah. <laughs> They say, Tommy, you got the moves. Especially <laughs> the guys from Brazil. Yeah? They say they want to dance the funk. I got big schlong. I, that's what they say. Uh huh. But I'm not worried too much about that. Like, I'm on Tinder, and if people start that slong business on me at first, I'm like, okay, turn off. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because I want to meet someone, not just about sex. And if you can't carry on a conversation, well, that's like, okay, dip de doo It's going to get tired. You got to have well, breakfast have with him. Yeah, that's you what gotta, I told you... this. This one fella, he was sending me pictures right off the bat. And then, um, and I said, well, this, I want to get to know you. And he kept telling me, yeah, I find you attractive. And I think it's great. You're saying you have a great body and your you willy dilly is nice. But I mean, I want to know what's, what's what your intent and in life. What, yes. Where did you come from? What are all... you about? Where are you going? Yeah, and he kept asking me for the pictures, you know? So what I did was I posed myself and and I took everything off, but I put the little banana down there. Uh -huh. And I had my purple socks on and long legs, because you see people with their those selfies with their dick pics with their socks on. So I was like, 
I'm gonna mock this. Uh -huh. And he thought that was the real deal. And he was like terrified and no, he never No, he was go. turned on. No! Pinky Turner. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, so then we just did your face and I went down the neck mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I highlighted right here too. Yeah. And I highlighted the chin and then I blend everything together. But always go down the neck and don't just leave around the face because that is pretty dumb. Yeah. The look that I always see with you, mm -hmm. very retro. Uh -huh. You see a little, I see a little Betty Davis, a little Joan Crawford. Correct. I see some Lucille eyes. Ball. The, I have this look like Marlena Dietrich or like Joan Crawford. Mm -hmm. I have that chiseled face, that Hollywood face that the was 30s, sort of, yeah. Yes. That and, big wide. Mm -hmm. Because pre-30s was a different shape of face. If you ever notice, like Mary Pickford and even uh, Swanson, which I do look like Swanson, I'm thankful. Gloria Swanson, that There's is. also a little Clara Bow sometimes. Clara Bow, yeah, she's uh -huh. cool. Probably more of my zaniness, too, with her. But yeah, Clara But Bow. there's also Betty Boop in there as well. Betty Boop, that's nice, too. Oh, cartoon characters? Yeah. How about the Joker? Oh, well, uh -huh. it's funny because the other night when I saw you, you had a little Joker, Joker, that... little, little Joker smile going on. That was a big, huge inspiration for me was the Batman. Oh, with, with the, the Joker, Joker with, with Jack, Jack Nicholson. Nicholson. And like when you said, oh, this town needs an enema and everything. <laughs> for me, that was just outrageous. Is your eye getting watery? No, I'm fine. A little bit of an allergy there. Is it? Maybe it's a hay fever. Maybe I'm just crying. <laughs> oh, oh, no. You're gonna be beautiful, don't worry. Oh, I've been trying so hard to, I wanna be pretty. to please you. So then we're gonna do the eyebrows first. Doing the eyebrows first? Yeah. That's a treat. So we're gonna take some Van Eye Cream Foundation. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing is I'm brushing, marking the eyebrows, what I want, sort of the style of them. So you glue them down and then redraw them on. And then I redraw them on and I take them up higher and stuff. And I'm gonna go over them with some powder as well, like powder eyeshadow. When did you move here? I moved out here in 2000. Really? Uh-huh. And I came out here to Long Beach because I went got tied into that Brooks College for oh, fashion uh -huh. degree. And that's how I got my associate's degree, Michelle Visage, with my nylons. That I was wearing. Wait, Michelle came for you for wearing period incorrect uh -huh, but nylon? And I knew what I was wearing. And my 60s look. That's Matthew funny. went on later and told me that it was high high catalog that I was wearing. <laughs> Put a little contour on your nose, a little whiteness. Mm -hmm. The eyebrows are done. Oh, look at that. That's a major turn on. Yeah? Uh huh. Now we're going to go do your eyes, your eyeballs. Eyeball. <laughs> Eyeball. I want to uh, lick those eyeballs. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> eyeball licking is a thing in Japan. Really? Yeah. They come up with the kinkiest things over there. Uh, tentacle sex. You know, um, scientists were just um, doing some DNA tests on uh -huh. octopus, and they say that they are unlike any other creature on the planet, and they think they might be aliens. You know, if they say that if you have fears of aliens, you're probably abducted. Well, I must have been, because I have a major fear to fall asleep. And well, it's interesting because we've had lots of ghost stories on the show. People tell their, their ghost stories, but we've never had an alien abduction I mean, story. it's possible. I mean, because I have the dreams. I don't know, but do I... You, um, I not have, do you have a problem ones. being probed? Does it bring back anally probed? Well, it's just, have you ever watched like the different things they do? You're, you're conscious while they're doing all these terrible things to you. And then the, move, the book Communion, I had to put that book down. Oh my God. It was tickling some little dark corner in the we back of your, dark, your brain? Always afraid of them as children, my sister and I. I don't want to sound like a real kookaroo here. Here, but I don't you think can... there's any danger of that happening. Okay, close those eyes. So what we're doing is I contoured around the eye right here with a gold. It's more of a copper. And then um, now we're going to do some shadowing around the eyes. When you do your brush too, you can take your brush. Like this is a nice one for contouring. And you go around and you can rotate it with your hands like this. And it'll give a nice, mm -hmm. it'll blend it in more. When did you move out here? I moved out here in 97. Oh, wow. Was that when the whole company moved out here or did you move out before the company? No, they actually the company came out here in 94, 95, oh, okay. I think. Where he, but I uh, watched the eyes of Tammy Faye. That was nice. Uh, that's a good one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. For all you RuPaul fans out there here, Nia rates it. That's mm -hmm. how I got to see it. Tammy Faye, you do look like Tammy Faye. Oh, that's another, another one, too. one too. Yes, uh -huh. Tammy Faye, Tammy Faye Mesner, Tammy Faye Baker. She's a cool lady. Yeah, I was on a show with her, and then I was on cool. the, the, show. the Surreal Life is my first walk on. Really? Raja was on there too, and Jules from Long Beach. <laughs> she was a good person. It mm -hmm. was she was the real deal, and her son's the real deal. I love him. He's cool. Jay, right? Yeah, Jay. But I just know that he's a really stands convicted. You know, like his mom. They're, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. real. They're not phonies. Up. 
Let's see. Wait, I'm sorry. I was doing. I was doing. You know, like how Garbo's always slouched. I was oh, giving you like I didn't a Garbo. What you were doing yeah. there? <laughs> Darling. He's fun for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they love a good Garbo joke. For you, we're gonna use a color on the bottom of your eye, like a different color, because Tammy uses colors, a lot of color, mm -hmm. and I think it'd be fun to put like a green or something. And I'm using a flat brush. Oh, do you ever get fucked in drag? I mean, I don't I don't talk about my bedroom, but you know, no, I don't I haven't gone in, I've gone on dates in drag though before. You have. When I find that men like me, they like me both ways. I do find there's this phenomena that the longer you do drag, that you sort of get blank looking out of drag uh, because you spend so much time on your uh, yin that I've your yang that. starts to suffer. I never applied that to my life. I was just an artist. Well, but yeah, but now we have, you know, like, you know, People like Raja and Adore and stuff yes. who are like, you know, like sex symbols, uh -huh. both in and so out. So am I, baby. Yeah, like you, yeah. So is Milky. Milk, yeah, Raven, definite. Uh-huh, Pearl, you know, Raven. Violet, Raven. I would say Trixie Mattel is a rather you know, good looking guy. I'll tell you something about that Trixie Mattel. You talk about somebody that you could have breakfast with. Yeah. You know, like that is somebody that you would never, ever get bored of. I'm going to contour your nose, I think, a little. You have a peanut butter face. What? I don't even know what that would mean. That would mean like peanut butter with nuts. <laughs> what? I think you're just being silly now. I am. What was your character called that you want to go back to today, though? Oh, my, um, Trudy Schinderman. Trudy Schinderman was my drag character back in the day. She was a little special girl. And she would be in a little Catholic school girl uniform and she'd run around with no underwear on and run through the clubs. I custom made these for you. They seem to be the rage. Everybody says, Tammy, where do you get your eyelashes? Tammy, Tommy, Tommy. Eyelashes and eyebrows. Well, I've been making them myself. I splice them. I used to use like Elmer's glue. I guess it's because you're a crazy club kid. When we're doing that, I'm gonna put uh, cheeks, some cheekies on you. Okay, we'll keep those like this for a minute. Do some of the girls go. <laughs> That's why you have. That's where I draw the line. Yeah. That's where you've just invaded my space. Uh-huh. I'm sticking a little. You're just making fun of my lisp. Huh? You're making you're fun of my slur. A just fine by me. I have a slur. Slurpy. Slurpy. This could be one of your new drag names. Slurpy Slurray. <laughs> Slurpy Slurray. Mm. Slurpy Slurray, and I like to wear purple negligees. I like to rhyme because I'm always so hip on the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, you are? Yeah, I think I got something in my eye. Or is there just a lot of dust in the air? You called yesterday and said, make sure that James brings his own mascara. Correct. And then I forgot and I had to run to the drugstore right. and get us some fancy Maybelline. Maybelline is the best, even the pros use Maybelline. We're gonna do a nice Hollywood lip for him. A little bow, little, little and we're gonna 30s? Do, no, we're gonna do a bigger Joan lip. Oh, okay. Put a little white under there so that it makes your lips stand out more and gives you more, a bigger lip and makes it stand out. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. I'm gonna go put on my little dress. And we're gonna open it on the wig. And we're gonna get it done, oh my god, yay! I'm cruising along. I'm cruising along. Cruising on down the boulevard. Cruising on down. Put on the brakes. Woohoo! Put on the brakes. <laughs> Oh my God. I don't think I've ever looked at it. Truck stop diva. Truck stop waitress, definitely. Yes, uh -huh. Who's out on a night on the town? <laughs> what are you uh -huh. serving us tonight? At I'm the truck serving stop you diva. chicken. And don't forget to subscribe. Wow presents.